All right, welcome everyone and welcome to a new video that I will be making today. I will be explaining how I study using GT Wizards. Today we'll go over Blind and Blind spots. I think Blind and Blind, that's like the most important ones because it's like most GTO you can learn basically. So I would definitely recommend studying a Blind and Blind um, for you guys. So that's it. Just I will go with you through the um, settings that I use for studying Blind and Blind and then we'll go over some hands and see how good I am. Um, yeah, if you want to start using GTO Wizard, just just use my link down in the description. You can support the channel. You can 10 get 10% off from your um, purchase. So then you go to trainer um, and just here, set it up, blind me blind. Um, some advanced settings, six max, um, simple NL50, 100 BVs, and that's all. We're gonna do everything. Also, I have it set for frequencies. RNG set it on as well. You can set here your range, how you want it. Mm. What else do I have here? Yeah, that's about it. Random. So, Ace 8 off. Um, high RNG. I think I set my RNG to be high. I don't know how to change it. But. Ace eight off is gonna be sometimes raised for sure. Really low frequency raise, I guess. Mostly a call, sometimes raise. Okay, it's pure call. I think we're starting to raising with um, with where I'm gonna put myself. Probably here. It shouldn't be bothering. Here, All right? Yeah, as eight off is pure call, and then as seven off is a race. Good to know. So continue. I think mostly check. Don't know about the frequency. Some ten percent of the time betting. Yep, about right. Um, we're betting 20% of the time and we're using bigger sizing if we decide to bet. We get some backdoors for sure. Here, turn, nothing changes, I think check. Ooh, interesting. So after we check, check. What does it say? Why do we bet? Is it still for value or? What's the meaning of betting on the turn? Because ace then ace check is like pure check. Even as I suit it is often a check. But if we have a spade in our hand, we have to bet to bluff the turn to river if, if we hit a spade. So let's say we're using bet 395. Okay, we did bet. My opponent called. Now I'll just get some random river and check the reports. Your reports are not available yet, only turn once and uh, all right. So what we can do is get some spade, small blind check and big blind. No. It doesn't bet much. It bets, but really high, big sizing. Let's check if there's like some something like ten of hearts. I think it's for like value, kind of protection and value. You can say if I'm wrong here. You can let me know in the comments, guys. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion. Like this, 
Um, yeah, I think it's mostly for value. Now river we have to bet pure, right? Yeah, it's pure bet, and we are betting either small or big, most likely big. And uh, we have king jack. And what about if I move myself here? Let's try it like this. Next hand. King Jack, I think it's pure call, it's not 5 bet jamming. <laughs> it's pure all in. I know that King 10 is all in, but didn't know about King Jack suited. Um, oh, it's a call. No, it's pure all in. King 10, King Jack, Queen Jack, Ace 5. Ace four are bluff champs. Blind me blind, by the way. If anybody would care about it, I think like we can do much less because of um, people in reality are not for bet for betting wide enough as they should because this is the range of for bet by our opposition and. He's doing king nine, a seven, a six, a four, check nine, ten nine. That's the hands there for betting, but um, we are not getting four bet by these hands by most of the opponents in real life. Okay, so I wouldn't implement king jack into jamming. Now it's like whatever because it won't show the results. So king eight, I know that. Um, Sometimes race, most likely race, right? About 40%, about like 30% call and rest is a fault. Yep, it's it's raising only 21%, 30% call and 50% fault. And easy fault if we got four bet. Jack 10, I think it's raising sometimes. 25% of the time we're raising. Okay, it's pure call. Mistake. Check. Uh, mostly check. I think sometimes it can bet. It's betting almost 50% of the time. Okay, now I think we have to bet. Eighty-five percent. All right, it's betting like sixty percent of the time, but we are really going high with with sizing. So, if we would be betting like three point ninety-five, we would go that frequency. But if we are using overbet, um, we are going much less frequency. And if all the nine seven. Oh, finally, we are small one. Yeah. King 10, I believe, is a sometimes 4 bet. It has to be like 4 bet or fold. Yep, that was right. 15% of the time. 14. So we're folding. 10 9, pure fold. By the way, this is how I study I'm using here on top left. I don't use actions, I use frequencies. Much prefer, in my opinion. Okay, here again, same as King 10, maybe higher frequency, like 23% and otherwise fold. Let's simplify it to 25. Okay. Red is 40% of the time for bet. Okay, next hand, check nine. Low frequency 3 bet. Otherwise, it's a call. Okay, 46% 3 bet. I 
think honestly this can go like 50 50 okay it's pure check check called queen I have no idea I guess we kind of have to put the pressure in reality it would be fine putting pressure because people don't check call enough of ASX but silver has a lot of ASX in this range and nothing actually improved that much so I think we have to go for high enough frequency check yeah almost pure check now we get a bluff catcher Now, potential thinking here might be a race to represent nines. But I don't think my opponent is folding an ace. So I think we can keep like 10% of the 10% raise, 20, 10% call, and the rest is a fold. Hmm, even more. We are keeping the raise. It's only all in sizing, which makes sense in my opinion. That's just uh, how solve works. And it's March. It's close to 50% of call. And the rest is a fold. So we get king five. Makes sense. Do we need to look? Okay. This is gonna be raised. Not that often as you would think. These offsuit combos are mostly a call. Ace five is pure call. I think it's gonna be like this. Yep, forty three percent of the time. And I think like with this exact combo, we like to go quite often for a check, even like twenty five, seventy five. I think if we're betting, we have to bet pretty big. Ooh, it's pure check pretty interesting let's check the sizings on this flop mm, yeah over bet only here is used and we're starting to value bet ace 10 ace check a little bit of ace 8 and then we have a lot of bluffs like um, backdoor straight row backdoor flush row look at this check x Queen X and again like hands containing five four check possibly ten yep All right I think now we have to bet pure close to I think we still have to some some checks like thirty five percent but we have to start betting let's say fifty fifty would be kind of cool if we are still keeping the big sizing wow we're still checking i wonder how does our range change okay so this is how our range was on the flop and this is how it like a little bit moved you know but still not strong enough to bet ace4 how many of you would bet ace4 right i would for sure bet it but in reality it's not strong enough um does our bluffs change a bit yeah like we are continuing let's do this thing and this thing so this is a turn Bluffs are basically the same. We are in compare, like we are turning some um, spade flush rows into a bluff, and the river has to be pure bet with ace four. I will be really surprised if we are not betting with ace four. And it's just the definition of sizing we choose. I would recommend uh, seventy five percent. And we got call with king queen. I think we can get a little bit more value. 
I'm honestly like it may be call but really low frequency call and mostly falling in reality I would I don't know what is the frequency of tree betting in Queen I'm definitely under tree betting it actually we'll study this it's pure call I get it so King Queen of like 20% 3 bet pre flop, and then it's pure call. Big blunder from me, but he has ace king, and I don't know if we're winning that much money with king queen offsuit. But okay, here is like really low frequency call, really low frequency raise, right? Like, let's say 10% and 10%. I think it might be only 3 bet fault. I don't think there are calls with king 6 off. Okay, it's a bit more and it's a bit of a call. Check 9. I think it has to be pure fault. A6 has to be pure fault. A queen is a call, right? GTO world. Mm, blind me blind, I think we have to go all in with jacks pure. I don't think we have calls. I think we can start calling with tens. Okay, we have like 26% call. Queen nine, a little bit of... I don't think we are folding and we are raising a bit. 44.5, this time we call. I think we have to bet with this hand close to really high frequency. We get cut shot, overcard. I think we're gonna use small or 50%, one third or 50% sizing. And we are mostly using three quarter, uh, 75%. And we are not betting that often. As I would predict. I don't think we can back raise it, we have to just call. Sometimes fault, right? Pretty big raise. I think maybe like 50 50 at falling. I would obviously not be surprised if we're calling pure, but. Oh, interesting. So we're never calling. We are raising it back. So let's check quickly, small blind range. We already know ours, we are betting big. Um, a lot of bands, basically. Um, I just checked 8x, right? And then we get raised by this range. Kings, queens, check. But also some bluffs like check nine, ace 10. Queen nine seven six um, five three so weakest three some eight sevens some ace three and we have really small raising range and that's like two pair queen jack suited it's really nice. Um, bit of a king 10. That's about it. Queen 9 is doing also a bit of raising, but I think to remember this, it's a really small range of. Um, we're raising him and it's mostly like queen check use the right hand to do it and then two pair we go for value so got shot with backdoor flush draw. oh don't even need to be backdoor flush draw. okay 
Okay, so if we raise him to this sizing, what is he doing? This raising range. Checks are calling, stacking off. Ace-10 is calling most thing. 10 is calling all in. 10 8 Ace three calling, three is calling, and seven calling, trying to hit. Stacking off pretty light. And this has to be pure fault, I guess. Ace eight, well. Queen ten, I guess we go for a pure call. Same with this uh, jack ten. We have to have some calls here, right? Like, let's say, 10% call. All right, we have some calls, 15%. Fault pure is 10. King, queen, fault pure. King Jack uh, never folding, that's for sure, and sometimes raising like 20% of the time, 10% uh, of the time with King Jack. With this exact hand, I think we are betting like 25%. For our range, it's not that bad actually. Wow, even more. Using small sizing. Um, also, I've, I obviously for his range, this really bad flop is checking like 90% of his range. I can show it to you guys. So small blind, checking pure, pure. And in that case, when it's so bad for him, we are betting really high frequency. And just to check our exact hand, king check off. With uh, king of spade, we are more or check of spade. Uh, king of spades prefer betting higher frequency than other without spades also it's fine to have heart plus our exact hand king of spades check of clubs yep. so high frequency bet now I think just the fault with this exact combo Calling sometimes, you know, like 50% and sometimes raising. No, too needy, too needy. Queen 7 is gonna be a mostly fold or raise. I don't know if we have any calls there. Like 30%. 7% and without calls. King Queen off. Oh, queen jack. Again, I don't advise to go all in with queen jack suited in position of king ten suited. If you really want to, let's do it with jack ace five. But you have to have some reads on your opponents that um, they forbid bluffs enough, in my opinion. <laughs> so on this flop we're gonna see that quite often for small frequency I would like to go around 60 to 40 and it's pure check with queens but let's check our overall range I don't think it's that bad to just see that alright but we are mixing big sizing I would in reality choose small sizing so it would be like um, 50 50 maybe 70 30 just using small sizing and not doing big sizing now we have to bluff because pure i believe we are not good ever and he could have like 10, 9 but i've checked 10 he could have but i think we have to quite often bluff here 
on this turn. I don't know about the sizing. Spear check already wanted to actually say that maybe you will not believe me, but uh, flush completing turns are pretty bad for us after we see that flop. Um, let's say we don't see that flop. Check, check. And now three of spades would be there, and our queens would go for a bet, but really unfrequently. And now it's pure check. Well, yeah, that's done. Pretty badly played by me, really poorly. But I'm learning also. Uh, I don't think this is an all in ever. I think this is a pure call with ice check suited. This. Um, so don't know how often should solver check, maybe like 30% of the time. And I think we can check this really high frequency of the time. I think ace queen, ace check is quite strong enough, so we'll keep it 50 50. It's even more. And with the sizings, we are going for half pot most, most often. Got the call. Just pure half pot or all in. Now, one third, I'm pretty sure we have to go all in. Get call by S5. So, what strong ace we are checking there on the turn? So, let's check the flop first. See how often he's checking, like, as I told you guys, 30% of the time. Um, he's mixing aces, kings and queens and then checks and tens going high frequency and other hands high frequency ace 5 is also checking quite often so he's protected his weak range um, alright but let's check us yeah ace jack has to go and ace 10 is the ace we're checking so it's starting. In reality, I think it's fine to start being a bit passive with ace check and ace 10, but in solver it's a bit more aggressive overall. So, yeah. And then on turn, check is, check is turn. He's going to raise some hands. Nothing. Nothing is bluffing. Then it's calling like check nine. King nine. Yeah, he has a lot of king x, right? As a four bed bluffer. And on the turn, what was it? I think he's checking pure. And on the turn, we are still continuing with like a worse hand, maybe 10 turning into a bluff. And this is just going for bet. Let's see the flop. Uh, right. I think that's it for the hand. So we're gonna end. I think this pure all in. I don't think we have calls with ace uh, with kings. Alright, 30 minutes. Finish it with this hand. I think we can sometimes uh, we don't fault with sevens blind me blind, and we can sometimes um, four bet. Yeah, I was right here. We called pure check. I think pure call. Maybe some some raises for sure, and some faults. We are blocking 7 8, right? Yep, not fault, but some raises for sure with 7s. Then pure check and have to be pure fault on the turn. Yes, some ace 10 ace checks. Actually, 
in, in, I'm, I'm just thinking out loud, might be wrong, but having sevens is better than having tens or jacks, in my opinion, so we have to mix in some calls. Maybe it's pure fault, I'm just thinking out loud. Getting, getting really good. And let's see if it's better to have sevens than tens. Might be wrong on that end. Oh, we don't have tens, but... That don't matter. We don't have tens here, we are forbidding them pure, but... Let's finish the session. So out of 29 hands, magnificent. There's been some blunders. There's been some really good hands that I played. Let's check the worst hand. This was not calling queen nine, king queen, sorry. Okay. Right, let's finish it. Uh, end session. Thank you guys for watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, again you can consider um, buying subscription for GTO Wizard through my affiliate link, uh, it would help me, you will get 10% off, I uh, hope this video was at least you learned something I learned, so just you've been just studying with me, thanks for watching, bye.